Hello everyone, this is Anna from TQ. Today we'll talk about spreadsheet import of tabular data using Tabrate Edge. Tabular data can be imported into any of our asset collections. However, today we'll focus on glossaries. We'll be using a dataset coming from National Cancer Research Institute, more precisely CDISC glossary. The glossary looks the following. So we have the NCA code, we have a description, synonyms and preferred terms in NCI. In Tabrate Edge, we'll click on Glossary's Asset Collection and we'll create a new one. We'll name it as CDISC Glossary. We'll bring the default namespace following the URI that's coming from the website and add a description of the full name of that glossary and where it comes from. After we filled in all the spaces we we'll click the button create glossary. We are sent directly into the import page in which we can choose import spreadsheet using pattern or template. Since we don't have a template yet, we'll be using the first option. First, we need to browse the file, which we just downloaded from the page. Now we need to specify the sheet index. In order to do so, let's open our file and see how it looks like. In this case, as we can see, the first sheet is about README and really the second one is the one that interests us. So we'll choose number two. We also know that we are bringing in the glossary terms, so we'll specify the appropriate class and click Next. On the screen we see that we can specify many different types of spreadsheets and there are column-based trees, self-joints and so on. However, in our case, we have just the regular tabular data, which means that there is no hierarchy. So we'll click on the option one. After that, we land on a screen where we can see spreadsheet columns and target properties. We can see that there is already one column which has a target property assigned. The reason for that is that the system figured that the CDISC description would be the same. There are other columns which you can fill in. So for example, we know that the submission value is in fact our label, which will be used in our glossary. So we just need to find the label. We also know that the code is in fact an identifier. We can also say that the synonyms that are being used are alternative labels. Now we need to specify how the URI would look like. So first of all, the URI will be based on the code in our case. And as we can see, the start of the URI comes from the namespace which we predefined while we, we are creating a glossary. We can also create a template if we'll be bringing in more terms like that coming from a spreadsheet that has a similar structure. So we just name our mapping in a meaningful way. Below, as you can see, we have a first couple of rows from our spreadsheet. So we can have an overview how the data looks like and once we click on the preview we can see how what the triples look like and whether uh, the identifiers are correct whether we see that the data would load in the right way once we are happy with everything we think we can finish after the spreadsheet was completed we can click on terms and see how our import looks like Notice that the terms were loaded, they are all glossary terms. If we click on one and choose to see the details, we would be able to see on a separate tab the details of our term. So as you can see, the definition and identifier were brought 
during the import into our data. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed watching it and if you have any questions just let us know.